fresh off a late game surge, brings MLS's stingiest defense to town. New talent has rocketed into the spotlight as United looks for a spark against the revolution. Next on Copcast 4, coming off a big win last week against Columbus, 2-0. What stands out for you from Jay Heap's side? Well, I think really uh, Diego Fagundes right away getting the start. Dave, he came off the bench against Columbus Crew and he scored the goal. And now they're giving... Dave Rosario is on the bench. We talked about Connor Doyle and Jared Jeffrey getting a start. What else stands out? Well, Nick DeLeon on the right. Kyle Porter comes back in on the left-hand side. Jeffrey is going to shift times been incredible defensively um, you know certainly in terms of shutouts Bobby should have worked with 11 and the team of course you know give it to the full team but you know just an inconsistent Dave trying to find that final maybe this that conclusive type of situation as a striker up front to bury the ball in the back of the net they haven't had it they've created a lot but that just happened this will be swept away by Diego who does but now DC not first chance to attack Sire Sendo trying to free up Mongo. Dimitri and Mongo. Senna and Mongo with similar hairstyles. Kyle Porter. Jeffrey's making a run. Porter slaloming through. It's blocked. Still Porter. Still Porter. Still Porter. That's Kyle Porter. Oh, that almost was a goal. Kyle Porter showing probably the most individual oh. player he's displayed since he's been with DC United. Yeah, exceptional run, and these are the things that Ben Olsen are asking. It's Porter. Still Porter. Still Porter. Still Porter. Great run from him, very determined, and certainly with the inside out, he, he, he stays with the ball, gets challenged here, just missing that back post, but what a mistake, you just saw it right there. That's a good point you make, you play freely, sometimes you can tighten up too much, and I think at times it, it almost looked like he was looking to pass too quickly, we see his skill on display, and now Silva stays onside, Luis Silva! guys who've uh, you know stepped up tonight talk about that at the top of our broadcast 19 different players have played in the front six for DC United with uh, two new ones tonight Connor Doyle and Jared Jeffrey uh oh look out and Bongo gets behind Yakovich this is Kellen Rowe that's Joe Willis with the save well the clearance but gives Clyde Sims a chance roll the back heel Wooler try to sort it out with Fagundes there now Kemp what a great ball back from the Bongo I mean he just picks out Kill and roll. 
Great first time ball from Kellen Rowe. And look at Willis, the way he spreads himself. Here's Mbongo, he keeps it on the deck, which is very tough to do. Trying to find the far post, Joe Willis, great. Moving his feet quickly. Chris Tierney, that's a good ball. Oh, it's Mbongo. Mbongo comes through. We well, see the pressure is paying off for New England. They responded pretty well. Chris Tierney, though, being the key player, stretches the game wide, the service into a dangerous area. And this one gets through a lot of bodies, Dave. It's almost like the header was almost there. And you see Taylor Kemp just on the wrong side of the ball. Mbongo gets his foot to it first. The delivery is excellent, though. Pace Tierney, of the ball. Well, we've talked excellent about Tierney ball. all night long with his good sportsmanship there. That's a good point. As we were having a discussion with Michael Williamson, the chief operating officer, Porter went down early in the half, and now he's down once again. Kind of caught it just in the back there. I think Lee Wynn and he uh, collided a little bit earlier, and he's been trying to run through it. Niasse's getting up, which would be a logical substitution. Uh, Sonny Niasse, of course, used to play. They really came out with New England Revolution. His only club prior to D.C. United just picked up this year to being let go. So, Niasse. This will be a shame if Porter has to come off. He had a, a again, we showed you at halftime that play. He, he went at defenders. We hadn't seen that quality yeah. much this season. But uh, Kyle Porter's night is done. Athletic trainer, Brian Goodstein and his staff on the field is, yeah, Porter just couldn't go. Yeah, Brian Goodstein right there, the trainer on your left. He has had his hands full with DC United this yeah. year in injuries, unfortunately. Yeah. Niasse coming in off the bench there. Taylor Kemp sending this in, the header. Ooh. By Connor Doyle. Found the space, didn't he? Oh, Got boy. away from McCarthy there. And Connor a, Doyle. A good ball by Taylor Kemp. Some of those balls sometimes are hard to defend because they, they dip in, they drop a little bit short in front of the line. You're dropping off to mark a striker, then you got to go forward again. Connor Doyle does a good job of getting into goal. The goal scorer finds Sayer Sen. Sen! Oh, it's off the post. It's in the net for good days. It's in the net. Fagundes, the night of frustration, now has joy. Well, Sen has been the, the spark plug for them the second half, Dave. Excellent passer of the ball, linking up, stretching the game wide from the right, right side. Mbongo with the ball out wide. Watch this little tuck inside, quick release. Excellent strike. Fagundes anticipating, getting on the, on the, on the second ball. This is where D.C. United could do a better job of just staying with their men. Don't ball watch. Fagundes' his frustration is over. That's a, what a strike that is from Sen. He De Leon, challenged by Rowe. Rowe, a couple of pushes and shoves. Still De Leon. De Leon walking the tight rope. Still De Leon. Comes through. This is Niasi. Oh! That seemed to be a goal in the making. Excellent build-up from D.C. United. Di Rosario starts it with the ball that he plays right into De Leon's feet. He takes a touch, does the tight rope down around the end line. Just totally just uh, does not connect with the ball there, Sonny Niasi, but great work from De Leon. Again, we see it's De Leon. Can we see the keeper get on the end of it? Anticipation builds in the crowd. Silva sending this one up. Pahoy does not get a full chance. It's cleared. Joe Willis, the keeper, is out, and this could be game over. Sayasen will put it in the net. Well, the referee has blown his whistle. That goal is not going to count. And the New England players surrounding referee David Gantar. I don't know if I've ever seen that. And he's saying.